what's up guys this is my very first tutorial about logo designing tutorial I'm sorry logo designing so in this tutorial we are going to get inside a bit about the golden ratio what is golden ratio golden ratio is uh, 1.6180 mean that would be used for any of the architectures and the sculptures even in an ads to be used to please the human eye so this now we are seeing some of the squares or bounding some of the squares these are the these are the golden mean of the design that's why this architecture is pleased to our eye and makes an impact on us so in this tutorial we are going to see how to create your own golden ratio so before further ado let's get started so i am now i'm opening a new document now i am going to type the name of uh, golden g o l d n ratio okay now is there any other settings or leave as it is we don't we don't have to change any of that so now we are come across click okay now it will open up a new document before we are going to do something we have to change some tweaks about when you're clicking about there you have to uncheck align new objects to pixel grid that's why we have a crystal clear alignment when we are doing so in the very first thing we are going to click the rectangle tool and uh, make a rectangle for about 20 20 pixels okay click ok now it will make a very very small squares we don't have to mess up with that we can we can we can even zoom it okay now the second thing is select the ellipse tool or click L key on a keyboard now hover over the center point of the square it will show the center otherwise you need to turn on the smart guides I have already done that so I don't have to turn it up back sorry now hold down the alt and shift key drag it up when it hits to the squares and just stop there that's it now we are make a square and a circle inside of it now let's we can see the preview view that's why we can understand everything is adapted with the square. That's why we don't have any misalignments in the future. Whenever possible, you need to check about is that right or isn't that. These are the things we have to understand whenever possible. Now I am copy this by selecting this and hold down the slightly move it up and hold down the shift key. This is most of the people can do this error. That's why I am I'm so guessing on it. Okay, now we can normal view. Hold down, simply move it up and the shift key. That's why we can align it up on the same axis. Okay, now we are having two squares inside of two circles. Now I'm going to select the bottom square with the circle and simply drag it up and hold down the shift key now I'm going to click the alt key that's why you can see the arrangements to be copied to another place now without leaving your shift key simply drag it up to face the angle and uh, put it to over the top of the left side of the score now we are now we need to check it out by going zooming in and then click the preview mode now we are having a crystal clear arrangements of two small squares and a big squares within the circle okay now we don't have to worry for that now select now I'm going to normal mode now select everything this is what we are doing now and simply hold the shift key and rotate it when you when you having the rotating handles it will automatically rotates 45 and a 90 degree like this 
So you don't have to mess up with that when you're having troubling and rotating with a 90 degree. Now I'm going to select the bottom of the square and a circle and simply move it up and pull down the shift key and at the same time when it hits the intersecting point I'm clicking the alt key like this so that it copy on the same axis. Now without leaving the shift key simply drag it up to the to the top of the left side of the circles. Now it will head to that. So now we are having to check. I'm a big fan of checking everything often. That's why we need to give a proper understanding, proper pleasing effect in our designs. Now I am clicking the shift and go to copy the outboard and simply drag it up and simply click the alt key. Now we have a two outboards with a two designs. Now I'm going to separate the circles from the golden ratio circles. Now I'm going to delete it up, delete every squares in this point. Now we are removing everything in this. Okay. Now and this and click there and delete it. Now we are having the circles. Now we need to align it and to that would be useful to use in the logo designing process that we on doing. Select everything. Oops, sorry. Select everything. Click the horizontal center and select everything. Click vertical center. It will arrange the circles according to the sizes of it. So we don't have to worry about uh, which is the big, which is the small. Now the same kind of process to be used for our squares. So I am going to click the shift and vote to select the artboards or click a artboard menu from the toolbar and simply drag it up like before we are doing in the squares or a diamonds or a circles and simply drag it up when clicking the shift key and simply hold down the alt key to copy that. Now I am going to remove the squares right here rather than removing your square. Now remove every circles from here. Oops, sorry. Removing every circles right here. I'm sorry to say that. Now remove everything like before we are doing with the circles. Now we have now we have the squares only. Click the horizontal center and select everything. Click the vertical center. It will automatically arrange the squares and a squares like before what we are doing in the circles. That's it. Now you are creating your own golden ratio squares and a golden ratio circles. This is my very first tutorial as I had said before. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, please pin me in the comment section down below. You will catch me in the next one. Adios.